And that's what it's time for. Weather and news, our jobs are done. The Sports Extra is coming up next. Absolutely. And on the way here, we're going to have Ben for you. <laughs> Including highlights from Quincy High's homecoming. That's right. Home and Quincy Georgia High. Georgia Woodruff and <laughs> QND in the house. And we're out of here. We'll see you <laughs> have a good weekend. <laughs> On the way, Quincy Notre Dame faces Peoria Woodruff as the Raiders try and make an early statement in the Mid-State Six. Quincy High looks to please their fans on homecoming and stay unbeaten in the Western Big Six. Plus, a clash of CCC strongholds in Shelbina as host South Shelby tries to put a halt on a two-game losing streak against Power and second-ranked Centralia. Sports Extra starts right now. Right, Ben, I was across town, and it's been more than two decades since Quincy High has had the good fortune of winning their homecoming football game even when I was going to homecoming, but after erasing a two touchdown deficit last week in their Western Big Six opener against East Moline, the Blue Devils' recent trends seem to be an afterthought. Homecoming it was, what a crowd on hand been. I don't think I've ever seen this many people. It was standing room only at Flynn Stadium for a good football game. QHS with the defense in the first quarter. Keith Long wrapping up the Galesburg Silver Street quarterback for about a loss of one yard later. It's Josh Hill. He's going to find daylight and he's going to break free. Down the sideline he goes nearly 60 yards, 6 to nothing. Blue Devils in the lead. They would miss the extra point and they would stay at 6 to nothing. More defense in the second quarter on the option. Sniffed out by Hill. Doing it on both sides of the football. Comes to the camera, gives it a little love as well. Hill doing it everywhere. More, def more defense this time in special teams. Ryan Taylor, another punt block for QHS. Had one last week that Change the game. This one would change the game as well. Johnny Davis late in the second quarter finding the end zone. That would make it 12 to nothing at halftime. Later, Vonderhaar hands off to Davis up the middle. He goes one more opportunity to break a tackle. Does it. Bye bye. Bye bye endless homecoming <laughs> win streak. I should say they finally win one. Couldn't get by. Galesburg gets it done. Does not get it done. Excuse me. 27-20 is your final. QHS first win since 1986 for their homecoming game. Ben.